Hey everyone, Mango 7 roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another Dragalia Lost video. And uh, I just want to show you something first before we go on. This is really loud in my ears. I don't think it's loud in yours. Let me turn that down. I really want to show you something. This is not how you do things. I'm pretty excited for this, but this is really, really not how you should do things. We can see on December 1st, we get um, a correction for increased appearance rate. We have an appearance rate on the 30th data update notification which was nothing um basically we keep going back until the 29th is when we got the last bit of information so it's the 12th now and the 29th is when we got the last bit of information here and finally on the 9th we get dragalia life and then we get a thank you gift and then we finally get something on the 10th so we went something like 12 days or something ridiculous like that before anything uh which is just weird to me you shouldn't Shouldn't have these so spread out. And then on the 11th, it's just like, bam, there's like 15 things uh, all in one day. So this is super weird to me. I, I don't understand why um, developers don't keep things going in, in um, uh, like a regular pace instead of just blasting it all at once. Like, I want to talk about this game a lot, but you can't throw it all at me in one day. There's too much to talk about. Anyways, let's just go through one at a time here and talk about some of these things. So we obviously have um, the epilogue added to the Resplendent Refrain. If you didn't know, I grinded out the entire event yesterday on stream. It took me four and a half hours to go from zero to full. 100% complete in the... Actually, not 100%. I only got the Twinkling Sand um, for the Gold Emblems. I didn't go past that. But outside of that, it took me four and a half hours to finish, start to finish. Um, granted, I had streamer advantage. I always had groups going, so that helped too. Um, I got the title first try, by the way, as well. And we have uh, a couple cool things here. We have some year-end gratitude, half stamina, which is awesome for the Imperial Onslaught. And um, again, another one of these confusing things that just kind of bother me. Um, at the end here, it says these events do not apply to Gather Wings. Why? Like, why? Why Why make it difficult to find a group? I just don't understand why they would do this. Just, like, give it to us. Like, let us play the game. They always have this, like, back and forth thing where we can't actually find a group to do things, even if they are half off. Now, everybody already kind of wanted to host for Onslaughts, and now they're going to want to host more. So there's going to be, like, infinity games up and nobody willing to join. So... Um, I don't understand why they just, like, give us a bow. It just doesn't make sense to me. Either way, um, excited for that. That's uh, a lot of less stamina required there. And next up here, we're getting to the exciting parts. By the way, um, Dragon Special Showcase. Uh, you guys always ask me if I should put up um, a should you summon video. Uh, don't summon. Don't do it. Do, do not summon on this dragon banner at all. Save everything for uh, this limited banner coming up. Just just don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, I don't care how much you want Cerberus or how much you want Leviathan or how much you want Jeanne d'Arc. Um, don't do it. Save everything you can for something in the future. Uh, next up here is... Um, where is it here? Where is it? Here we go. Facility event, the Miracle of Dragon Yule coming soon. So I was wrong. Um, for one, it's not a dark dark event. There's no dark units coming. I, I don't know if we're surprised anymore or not. It's kind of like Fire Emblem Heroes with the um, Colorless Legendary unit. It's just one of those things that's never going to come. I mean, I guess it literally just came now as I'm speaking. But uh, before that, we had the same one over and over and over again forever. So the Miracle of Dragon Yule is a water-based facility event. So we're going to get a facility that boosts up our water units, which is fantastic because I have so many good water units. Like, I can't even imagine how much damage my um, Lily's going to do for this event. Uh, really excited for that. We'll also talk about this screenshot in a second here. Uh, what else happens? Um, I was wrong here. I thought we were going to get a gingerbread house, but instead we're getting a tree, which is really exciting. This starts on, what day is it? Uh, 16th of December, so four days from now is when this is going to start. Uh, Miracle of Dragon Yule. I'm really, 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 really excited for that. Uh, what else do we have on here? Summoning Showcase Dragon is now available. Um, also, we are getting Avenue to Power Master Difficulty and Avenue to Fortune Master Difficulty. So we've been waiting for these a while, but not only that, they're lowering the stamina costs of the other ones. So we're getting 4, 8, and 12 instead of 5, 10, and 15. 
but you're probably not going to be farming those at all. You're probably going to be doing the 15 stamina for the master. So I love this. I, I, I'm assuming it's going to be autoable just the same, and that's going to be our default place to farm from now on. Granted, I have so much money now. Like if you look at my um, ruby count or gold count, I'm at 3.7-ish million right now, and just nothing to spend it on. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about what we're all here for the miracle of dragon yule and the number one thing the actual two people i kept saying every single time when it came to christmas was nefaria and cleo i thought for sure they were going to put those two on christmas just because they don't feel like christmas people and games like to do that so we are going to be getting christmas cleo Christmas Nefaria and Christmas Xander of all people. I didn't expect Xander, especially since these are water units, um, presumably, and we already have a water Xander. So really looking at this, it's hard to see, but um, I have heard that the rumors are Cleo is a dagger, which is my favorite weapon type. So um, I'm not sure how good the elemental dagger is, but if I pull Cleo, I'm almost definitely making her elemental weapon. And we also have Nefaria, my other favorite character in the game, basically. And I think um, I heard something about her being an axe. She's got a sack of gifts, so um, I'm not sure about that. And honestly, I can't tell what Xander is. I'm sure this information is out there already, and you guys are already like, Mango, he's a this and he's a that and she's a this, and you're all wrong, and you're typing angrily in YouTube right now. But I, I don't want to just regurgitate information to you guys, so I really like to go through my own personal thoughts and opinions. But uh, super excited about this. And here is the tree we're getting. We're going to gather astral ornaments and use them to upgrade the Yule tree. Super excited about this. Honestly, um, I kind of wish they, they mixed it up. A lot of people are kind of... Uh, over, if that's the right word, the same events just rotating. Uh, hopefully this one's slightly different, and hopefully this one is more fun than the last one. I did not have fun on my last event. This is the first event I, um, actually the last two events I really just didn't enjoy too much. Uh, so I'm really hoping they either up the difficulty or they add something special to it. So I guess we'll see there. Uh, as for what units I'm going to use, um, I'm probably going to use those three there, and I'm going to spend every bit of Wormite I have on it. I'm actually kind of stressed right now because I don't have any Diamantium. And this is one of my big problems with this game right now, is if we go to the value packs, uh, most games like this have a weekly or monthly subscription style thing, if you want to call it that. And $14 a week, this is Canadian dollars, is ridiculous for that. Um, usually monthly subscriptions are around this price, so the fact that it's four times more than a monthly in most other games is kind of frustrating to me. So I want to keep supporting the game and I want to keep buying this because I need the Diamantium, but I just can't afford it. It's it's too much money for a monthly thing. Um, in Azure Lane, the monthly is like $10, I buy it every time. In um, Epic 7, the monthly is like $10 as well, I buy it every time. Um, but $14 a week, it's just too much. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are in the same position right now, so I really hope they do something about that. Um, I also feel like the daily deal should be free. Um, most other games have a daily deal. I, I, I don't mean to be ranting right now, I just want to tell you where I'm at with the game. Um, because the number one way to get people to log in is to give them a free summon every day. Um, and this isn't really obtainable anymore with 1400 uh, or $14 per week to, to keep up with this. So uh, just my thoughts there. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about my facility since you guys haven't really seen my account in a while. I'm sitting at 743 facility level here. Um, my waters are actually pretty low. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be nonstop doing these for right now. They're 23 and 24. Um, my wand is 18. Basically all of my dojos are 16 or higher. Um, my darks are 29 and 30, my winds are 25, my fires are 30 and 30, uh, my light is 23 and 23. So that's about where I'm sitting right now. Um, also, this is the highest level Paladome you can get, so uh, you can't actually unlock this part right here, which is the part I wanted to unlock, uh, but we will do that in the future, I'm sure. Anyways, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. Long story short, do not summon on the Dragon Banner. Please don't do it. Wait till we see what's coming out here, because those characters look amazing. Um, daggers are my favorite unit. Cleo is one of my favorite characters, and I think it's just going to be so awesome if we get to use uh, Cleo finally. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!